The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 59, Nasdaq off 26, S&P's off 8.5, gold contract up $18.50, trading at 1436. We gold it out here today, folks. Guess what? You broke the whole consolidation going back to 2013. Pretty intense. Uh, silver, silver up uh, 7 cents, $15.45 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 23 cents, $58.13 a barrel. Notes and bonds continue higher price, lower yield. Volume behind the move. You get the 10 year up eight ticks, trading 128.06. 30 year up 17, 155.30. We're under 2% again. I saw. I was, you know, I didn't quite get there in that top of the hour. I think we're at 1.97, um, even in the last hour or so. Look at it. Yeah, 1.98. Yeah. 1.987. 1. Yeah. Pretty wild, man. Yeah. King dollar, king dollar out here flat today. We are trading at a price point of 95.505. Now, king dollar, this is uh, bottom line. This is the fifth day in a row that you've come down with volume. It's really a sideways move out here today. Bottom line, though, you broke the uptrend in spades too. So I suspect 94 is coming at us, and you break 94 and 88 is game. Euro, euro is at 113.91. The yen is at 106.94, and the pound is at 127.22. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of Swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, you want to understand options, option strategies, futures. Great program, Kevin and his team. If you haven't test driven yet the Think of Swim platform, real easy to do. Right at our website, hit the banner, bring it up. They'll allow you to trade with paper money. You can follow Kevin and his team each and every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You know, quiet before the storm, I think. I think tomorrow, you know, th I think this market's going to drift today. Um, I, you know, there's so much data coming out the rest of the week, and I think I would really be watching, you know, the VIX and all the risk-off <laughs> assets because I think this G20 meeting is going to throw a little volatility into this market coming coming the end of the week and we got three of my top six data points coming out wednesday thursday friday we've got durable goods on wednesday gdp on thursday and income and outlays on friday some big data so i, love I, th it. I expect this market to pick up pace here as we get midweek yeah and then on top of that this is what's so cool folks on top of that you got yeah. end of the month window dressing yeah and what you have now July 4th, what I've seen over the course of years, people just like running the market higher on July 4th, man. I mean, so it's really intriguing. Like, there's no science behind that. But when you put that together with where we are, it's like, okay, let's see. We'll see, we'll see how this baby shakes out, man. You know? So. Tom, you're exactly right. End of the month, end of the quarter really throws some, you know, uh, rebalancing and things like that into yes. the mix. So I expect that to volume to pick up later in the week. I think it'll be you know a very slow muted start to the week but uh it's going to pick up from here on out yeah and of course what ends up happening you know we're in summer trading um yeah. you know that being said guess what mm -hmm. last week there was real action i mean that thing started pushing and uh you were pushing with highs and you know option expiration man that that option expiration kevin came in with some monster volume i mean most yeah. of the time it does yeah, it, it usually does you know one of the quadruple witching the the quarterly expirations like that that's one of the big ones the volumes will always pick up there and uh you know i i think it's really interesting how in the summer in a rally near the all-time highs, you got VIX north of 15. That's that right there should be telling people there's there, there's events looming in this in this economy. Yeah, that's that's pretty wild. I mean, as we've been talking, we're all scratching our heads saying that you know it seems that the cash flow is fine. It seems companies are making money, uh, but you know we are under two percent in the 10-year. Um, you know we got a 
the next meeting it's saying the Fed fund futures are 100 percent. I don't know how they get to 100. I mean, but they're they're at 100. Yeah. <laughs> and you then know. the September <laughs> one is at 68. Well, let me see if it's at 68 this morning. Was it 68 percent yesterday? It's at yeah, 70, that, uh, 57 today. Well, you know, it, it, it's like a 60 foot straight putt, right? It looks like it's straight. It looks like it's all you got to do is hit it. You know, there's a lot of room between now and July 31st at the next Fed meeting. So oh, we're going to get a bunch of data between now and then. So uh, these, you know, Tom, you know this. We never say 100%. We never say zero. We never say never. And we never say always. So 100% means nothing to me. That's why I thought it was so weird. Yeah. It's like, okay, how do you, there's no such thing, really. We know that. I mean, you that, know, that, really? that doesn't mean he won't do it. He, right. he very well may. If the data still shows no inflation, he may move rates down in, in the July meeting. I don't discount that because the rhetoric kind of points that that's the way at least they're, they're willing to consider it. But, yeah, we don't – we know – uh, that 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 is not a done deal. Right, right. This this yeah, it's just not there. And you know what? Did you? I don't know if you saw this yet, Kevin. This is an amazing story, folks. Okay, that in it's uh, Austria, I believe. Austria, they had done a hundred-year bond uh, when, like, the, the 2017. Yeah, 2017. Uh, here it is. Okay, so a hundred-year bond at one point two percent. They're buying it at one point two percent. A hundred-year oh bond. Goodness. It's like really. It's what 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 are, what are your expectations for the world economy if you're buying a hundred-year bond at one point two percent? That is, I, you know, like I said, there's a lot of things going on right now that. Uh, much like when Jimmy Carter was president and the interest rates were 21 percent, you may not ever see again yes. some of the things we're seeing right now in this economy. So everyone should be taking pictures A 1.2 percent. I mean, you know, uh, you know, European bonds trading below trading negative. I mean, it's, it's there is some head scratching there things is. going on right now. And, you know, the bond that we're talking about, folks, so Austria had floated a. A hundred-year bond two years ago, and they got 2.1 percent. And you know that, that they thought that was good. Well, guess what? Bottom line, they're pushing out a 1.2. It's like, wow, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's. You give me a hundred-year bond with 1.2 percent. You ask me how much I want to borrow. I'm like, how much do you have? Yes, seriously. Yeah. How much I want to borrow? Oh yeah. my God! I'll get all. I, there's, there's no doubt, man. And in 100 yeah. years from right now, I'm going to pay it all back. Don't you worry. No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> my grandchildren are going to make exactly. good on this. But that's the point, 1% for that, because my goodness, yeah. So, we're Kevin, can you imagine if you're still on the floor and someone gave you a 100-year bond at 1.2%? <laughs> like I said, you tell me how much I can borrow. Yeah. <laughs> you own the New York Stock Exchange. Bye, bye, bye. Exactly. Give me, give me it all. Oh, give me it my all. God. Yeah. I'll take all you got. All right. It's it's pretty amazing. There's, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. But, Give me a 12-digit number that you feel comfortable with. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Listen, yeah. folks. But hey, here's the good news. Even though it's the end of earnings season and the pickings get a little slim here, we've got some good ones today. Micron, FedEx, General Mills. I challenge anyone listening to this show right now to – Tell me that they haven't used a General Mills product. It's not possible. Yeah, they yeah. just wouldn't know all their products if they said that. Their portfolio is massive. It is. No doubt. Yeah. And, folks, you're going to hear all about it right here, 45 minutes from now. Check it out. Kevin, you have a great day, safe day. We look forward to the program in 45 minutes. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading yeah, software that you will ever so. try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Dow. Dow is down 121. Nasdaq's down 37. S&Ps are uh, off 12 and a half. Let's just look at those S&Ps for a second. Sure. So that was a fast little move uh, to the downside. Across the board. And, yeah, there's some volume behind this move. And, you know, we had divergence yesterday. What the divergence was yesterday, folks, in the market um, was the small caps went south with volume. It's like, you know, now the small caps have been the weakest indice, but this was pretty wild for a market that basically was sideways yesterday. If I pull up this IWM, what you're going to see is that someone was selling that thing. You know, look at that expansion of volume, 24 million. Sure. And we didn't get volume yesterday in the market. So, you know, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Uh, inside the uh, Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here this morning. We got uh, McDonald's putting 11 positive points. Um... Was that the Walgreens, Walgreens up, uh, putting four points? Johnson Johnson putting four, taken away from the Boeing, negative 33. Goldman, negative 22. Microsoft, negative 14. Um, if we go back to that bond for a second, because this gets even more intriguing, actually, the bond we were talking about. Um, yeah, so. So what it had to do with, right, we, these are the 20. <laughs> this is amazing to say they expire. 2117 right. bonds. Um, so. Offered two years ago, they are now at trading at 60% more than their issue price. So those bonds are reflecting a yield of 1.12%. Is that unbelievable? Which is close to where any new 2119 offer would be pitched. Obviously, that makes sense. You're going to offer something um, at that market. And just, I mean, check out, that's the yield since they've been offered. It's a quick decline for a 100-year bond yeah. to go from 2 point whatever percent almost to almost 1 point whatever percent. Um, 
quite quite a market, man, when you think about that. And uh, appetite for this kind of paper starts to make some sort of sense when you can see that 21 1700 year issue yields, nearly 50 basis points more than Austria's benchmark 2047 30 year bond. Uh, I guess if you're going for yields, you know, I mean, that's the, the, I guess that's the new long end of the curve. Uh, right. And yeah. what, what does happen here, folks, this, is, this wouldn't be you and I. What happens, the, the, the folks that would be buying that inside their balance sheet, that they have some kind of a liability 50 years or 70 years out there. That's the method to the madness. That's how it's sure. supposed to work. Sure. So you just kind of straighten it out and say, okay, we got a bill being due, you know, whether it's Social yes. Security or pensions Whatever and all that. Right. You, know what I mean? you just have money that needs to yeah. be in play, too. Right. You know, as that, and, right. and you talk about they're dealing with negative interest rates. I think they talked about the deposit rate is like, you know, a negative 40 basis points yep. over there. So in the world where if you put your money in a bank, you have to pay them almost half a percent. It doesn't seem as crazy. I say that no, kind of hesitant it's, it's because truth. it is, it's the but truth. That, that's where yeah. that piece comes it's in. It's the truth. Yeah. Well, let's go to a man that's been uh, hanging out at the Four Seasons uh, since uh, Bitcoin's uh, trading out at 11,318. We got my man Paul from Henderson, Nevada. What's going on, brother? Bitcoin going to the moon. Oh, my God. Listen, I don't know if you heard us, but last Friday, Tommy and I were saying that we thought you were going to have quite a weekend, and when we came in yesterday, you did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, on, uh, on over the weekend, once it broke 9,000, we had a couple of good trades in there. And um, you know what's funny? My wife was so excited because I had her start building a huddle position once we broke 3,700 on the downside. Wow. And... Uh, we, we took the first look at her account because on Coinbase, you could do every week. You could buy a little bit of Bitcoin, buy a little bit of Bitcoin. Yes. Um, yeah, she almost 5X her money, so she was so juiced. <laughs> I bet. Should be. Now, did she yeah. take it yet? What's that? Did she take her money yet? We're going to stop uh, accumulating here, and uh, we're going to see how this shakes out. I wanted to get your opinion, Tom, if you see any ABC patterns here on the weekly. or I mean, we're just breaking swings. Consolidating, breaking swings, consolidating, breaking swings, and it's getting pretty extended to me. But yeah, I think she should take some money and bring it to the Four Seasons, man. You guys, go to <laughs> yeah. go to Hawaii, go to the Four Seasons. Seriously, because it's would you have it? Now, this is where you're coming into the monster supply line. I mean, yeah, it's you know, you, you, you let's see, let me see what this one is. This one is what's that's nine thousand down to let's say five. That's four thousand. That'd give you 11,400, yeah. So, Which is right where we are. Right. You, I mean, you, you, my take would be that I'd be taking some bread off here, man. Uh, so yeah. what, what happens is this, is that you're, you're at the main supply line, meaning where the most amount of money was lost the quickest, you know, and that was, going, that was from December 2017 until January 2018. You know, so it's launched all of that, and yeah, can you go higher? Yeah, you can go higher, but we know how this works, too. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, you know, you don't, well, Bitcoin does get these moves. I was going to say it you does. don't get these moves, but you do get these moves. It's almost been just fundamentally, and I know you know that it's been a little bit of a perfect storm in good news for right. cryptos in general. Right. Um, so just be aware of that, Paul. You know, I know you are, but you know you get the Facebook, the Libra. Um, there hasn't been any negative type stories, and it seems like those are always going to be popping up here and there occasionally. Yeah, totally. I mean. Um you know, we've been following this. I think um, I might have been the first person to ever call in about the cryptos uh, over a year ago now. And we've been following this, you know, quite often this whole time. And um, we've seen, you know, last year that Tom always says, you know, the markets like to take the most amount of money from the most amount of people in the shortest amount of time. And Bitcoin has these just crazy retracements that right. wipe people out. And yeah. um, on BitMEX, there's a trading platform where people could get you know, 100x leverage. And um, I know a lot of traders have been expecting the the flush out, and a lot of people have been getting taken to the cleaner. So it seems like at some point in time, that flush out is going to come and take out the long here. Well, what, um, what happened, this is, it doesn't have to be a total flush out, but so picture something, right? You, you To me, like, you already had the total wipeout, right? That's That would be like... Right. You know, that would be like the NASDAQ in 2000. You know, you get a 90% pullback. Well, it wasn't 90, but, you know, it was a big one, it's right? Close. And And then 
what's what happens is that this is orderly on the way up. It's fast, but it's orderly. You know, you you build some cars uh, in April, going all the way to the end of April. You do a, a leg up. You build cars from May, going all the way over to June. You, you go up. You just got to decide that, you know, are you in this, you know, forever, or are you in this to make money? You know, and I've seen this too many times in the gold market. I can tell you this, Paul. When gold ran from 282 up to 1900, and that, and and this is including people that even get my newsletter, and we made a fortune, okay? But some people just never sold, and you got to remember why you're in the marketplace, man. Because if you don't sell, right. you don't never make any money. So it's a personal choice, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? So it's and it's always hard when you get the trend with you. But guess what? Nothing ever goes up forever, ever, and nothing ever goes down forever, you know? So. Yeah, and the rest of the market is not moving uh, nearly as much as Bitcoin. A lot of them had um, similar bottoming patterns, a lot of the coins. Yeah. Um, but Bitcoin is way further past on, on the chart than the other one. So well, that's really that, quite a parabolic move. It is. Yeah. 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 Right on, guys. Well, thank you so much. You guys have a great day, man. It's great talking to you guys. You too, great man. Great talking to you. Thanks, Paul. Have a great one, man. All have right. a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow down 85, NASDAQ up 37, S&Ps are off 10. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights Day, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials uh, down 74, Nasdaq off 36, S&P's off 10. Let's go over to Tesla, because yeah. uh, this is quite a story out here, actually. Uh, so Tesla's trading at 221. 222 on the dot. It's, yeah. it's moving up. Things are looking rosy for Tesla. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not the one we want. There it is. Uh, so the article's talking about... We had a launch SpaceX this morning, right? Yeah, so they, the Falcon Heavy delivered 24 satellites into three distinct orbits, while the rocket's twin boosters landed safely back on Earth almost simultaneously. Apart from the failure of the center booster to land on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean, the mission that Musk had described as SpaceX's toughest test yet had been a success. So I think a success overall, all things oh, yeah. considered, even missing that one rocket. Right. Um, these things never used to come back, you know, right. let alone. So they got uh, the two twin boosters landing safely back on Earth. And uh, this article, though, talking about that it underscores SpaceX's status as one of the world's most valuable closely held companies, $34 billion. Um, and while investors are clamoring for a piece of Musk's space company, they've been less Sang sanguine? I don't know that one. Lately, about the fortunes of his publicly traded company. Uh, and this is the interesting part, right? So he's the 41st richest person, according to Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Uh, 22.4 billion. SpaceX now makes up two thirds of his wealth, with Tesla accounting for most of the remaining third. That's a reversal from the previous year, where Tesla was responsible for the bulk of the fortune. So, quite a reversal as Tesla shares have sank. Uh, SpaceX really taken off. SpaceX, a private company. I think we all could agree that Elon is more comfortable operating in a private company, yeah. not per the market uh, participants and what they have to say. Um, yeah, so his, his wealth has dropped $1.7 billion because of the drop in the substantial number in Tesla. But quite a value that he's got tied up in SpaceX when you put it to the fact that he probably enjoys it more. And I'm being serious because he's not accountable. He, right. said, he said long ago, many times, that uh, he wishes it wasn't a public company. They right. didn't have to do quarterly numbers. Hit, Too hit, late. Hit, hit you a, already oh, took yes, the money. That's, that's how I, I've said many. Yeah, you can you can think that all you want. And that's, he gets that freedom with SpaceX because it's a private company. But you can't go to the public market for money and then complain about the rules. Exactly. Yeah. So if we go over to the gold contract, you know, last night when it happened uh, in my show, we got a couple calls about, you know, this extension. Like oh, how you got far, calls on gold? Okay. Yeah, yeah, like I how bet. far can this extension go? <laughs> yeah. So this is something you want to keep your eye on, folks, because I did the... Uh, now, gold was in an ABC up. It still is, okay? And we're getting close to a little problem child here, okay? So what the problem child would be is that if you do a 1 to 1.618 ABC structure on the way up or the way down, many times it's a change of trend. The, the extension is too far. So these are the numbers right here. And, and a 1.50 is 144.10 on this contract. And you can see we hit 142.90 today. So Okay, can you, can you go one more time? I think you said yeah. 142. We're in the 1400s here, so it would be 1420 something? No? Yeah, can we one, go over those numbers again? Sure. Yeah, yeah. so it's 1441. Okay, okay. 1441, okay. right? Uh, and no, 1440, yeah, 1441 10 is a 1 to 1.50. We did 1442. 1442 this okay, morning. right over that level. So what I really don't want to see is 1449.96. Because then that is a 1 to 1.618 ABC structure up off this low that was established out here on May 21st. So about 1450, literally four pennies away to keep things as simple as yep. 1450. Right. Um, now, if we go over to the GDX, let's take a look at the GDX. Because this, the GDX right now is pulling back. And th let me tell you something. That's what you want to see. I want this baby to start pulling back right now uh, to build cause for the next leg up. So we'll see how this shakes out. What the GDX did today, it, it did get over its high of yesterday. You're pulling back, and, you know, bottom line is if you are a, a bull in the metals market, this is exactly what you want to see. Um, because it's time for pullback. Then. Sure. You know, too that's, much, that's, too quick. And, yeah. and if we go over to the dollar index, it looks to me that the dollar index also, um, you have yesterday was the first day that you had the volume calm down a bit. Today, it looks like it's going to reject lower price. So yesterday, well, here, if we go back last week, the first day, you did 29,000 contracts coming off the high. Then we did, that was, uh, let's see, today's Monday. Okay, so, so Wednesday, last Wednesday, we did 29,000 contracts. Thursday, you did 25,000. Friday, we did 30,000. Yesterday, you did 22. So you had a contraction. And today, it looks like you might get a little rejection. And that's what you want. 
I want to see a rejection. Then I want to see a nice counter trend bounce with light volume. That sets up the next leg down. So it's going to, you know, there's, there's, there's some decent moving pitches, uh, pieces out here. Definitely. That move that moves pretty extensive, though. Yeah. There's, there's no doubt. Uh, silver. Let's go take a look at the silver market. Uh, let's see. Silver. July. And uh, July. Uh. So. Okay. So silver's silver's silver. Uh, we need more strength in silver, but silver's acting all right. It's certainly not extended. That's for sure. Um, silver still wants to run up to this uh, 1638. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here today. Drug companies. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, AbbVie's taking over Allergen. AbbVie's up... No, AbbVie's down 11. Allergen yeah. is up 34. Yeah. You talk about blockbuster moves, right? These, these are months. $68 billion, right? That's right. And let's Interesting see. Interesting. So it's trading right now at $53 billion on the... The rise, as in it's okay. all not priced in just yet. I forget what the number is, okay. but it's a higher price if the market, if the deal actually does happen. So market not priced a hundred percent chance yet, obviously. But look at that move, and then it's a bargain, man, bargain. Look at that though; it's way off its highs. Man. It sure is. Wow, three hundred and forty dollars. So this is a deal. <laughs> three hundred and forty dollars. That was in twenty fifteen. So see, you know what's interesting about this? Just when I was talking to Paul, nothing goes up forever, nothing goes down forever. It's like Okay, you know. <laughs> so amusingly, I did think when you said that, yeah. like, there's a lot of things that go down forever and go to zero. Just so as, oh, yeah, as, yeah, as, yeah. Boy, as right. and and this looks like like catching a falling knife. Like the big sign of strength here is that somebody bought them. I know. In the last three years, right. well, that doesn't. It's it's a deal compared to the price three years ago. But right. we all know that you know, as in that is quite a chart to the downtrend. It is. Um, it's pretty intense. So AbbVie obviously has some plans to to turn around that trend. Um, well, I believe what, what it is is that the, both of them, Abvi has this... Uh, yeah, they're losing patent, right? And so yeah, pretty they, soon on yeah. rheumatoid arthritis. They have a big arthritis drug. And then, of course, Allergen has the Botox. And the Botox is just yeah. a monster, you know? So uh, it seems that, you know, that's how people are trying to buy, you know, buy their way out of something that's going south right right know? i would agree they're they're yeah. gonna lose that nope that's not the one we'll we'll find one but yeah you're exactly right they're gonna lose a, a big revenue stream and they're gonna use right now that they have an opportunity maybe to buy more revenue yeah you know and that's, that's, right. that's longer period of time yeah. to figure out what the next big drug is going to be yeah eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight we have the dow industrials right now down 102. Nasdaq is off 46. S&Ps are off 12. And let's see FedEx. This is going to be interesting with this FedEx will, numbers, man. Huh? Especially they just came out right. They're suing the government, talking about to do with the trade in China, saying how are we supposed to police all these packages? Really glossing it over. But that's an interesting way to come into earnings and an earnings call. It's going to um, come out at 4:15 right. today. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow right now down 84. Nasdaq off 46. S&P down 12. So let's go over to FedEx and so take a look here. So this has been quite a ride. Really interesting sector, stock, just in terms of obviously a powerhouse company. We we're just talking about, we'll talk about the dealing with some trade concerns, tariff concerns, Huge. economic slowdown concerns. Right. Um, so 274 was the high. That high was generated uh, January of this year. No, January 18. Yes. Wow, okay, two years. That's right, so Amazon yeah. concerns. 157, and you know, you get that high volume low at 150. We just hit 150.68 though, so. And then, so check this out. This is gonna get intriguing here because they're suing the feds right now, or the government, and I can see why they're doing it, man. This is gonna get really strange. And even, I got it up how right here, so why not? Yeah. They're actually gonna basically police this and that's yeah. what the fed fedex is saying yeah that's what the fedex is saying to the fed saying yeah. um they're suing the government saying it's an impossible task of policing these exports to china and um so this has to do with let's see we'll get down the move came after fedex reignited chinese ire over its business practices when packages containing a huawei phone sent to the u.s was returned last week Did you see that story so they're I dealing with these problems yeah um let's see where, where were we just reading that said um we had I think at the very beginning it yeah, is what yeah. that it's all about so FedEx sued the US government saying it should not be held liable if inadvertently shipped products that violated the Trump administration's ban on exports to some Chinese companies um, I think that just has to that's basically it right that yeah so what would end up happening I think I believe what they're saying is that let's say you me or anyone out here right if you send something you know, bottom line, how do they even know what you're sending inside yep. the box? And that's, they just don't right. want to be held liable right. if inadvertently shipping products that violate that ban on exports to some Chinese companies. Right. Um, we're saying in the break, I mean, they could probably spend a billion dollars just trying to limit that. When you talk about the amount of shipments that are probably going to and from China, it's a big number. Oh, big number. <laughs> yeah. Um, and in, court, in court yeah. filings, FedEx said it should not be expected to enforce the export ban and could not reasonably be held liable for shipping products that it did not know about. There it is. Yeah, it did not know about. Export restriction rules essentially deputize FedEx to police the contents of millions of packages it ships daily, even though doing so is a virtually impossible task, logistically, economically, and in many cases, legally. Um, 
Yeah, and you get the Commerce Department saying we have not yet reviewed the complaint, but nevertheless look forward to defending Commerce's role in protecting U.S. national security. Um, I mean, that's 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 quite a, a task. So I, right. I can empathize a bit. It's going to be wild watching this thing shake out, man. So we have FedEx coming out. Then we have uh, Kevin was saying Micron. Micron, so I take, believe. I take a look where, at Micron. Can we? Like, okay, so they're probably after the close. One of them. Can we check it? Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're just uh, FedEx. Are they after the bell? Or Four fifteen. Four fifteen. Okay. okay. And then General Mills, which I believe is tomorrow GIS. morning. I knew okay. one of them. Um, That's before tomorrow, the market. Before tomorrow. the market. Yeah. yeah. And then Micron, so let's look at Micron. So the low for the year Micron is 28, high is 58. Those chips, another interesting oh, one, yeah. talking about the China effect. You know, you're down from 64, so it's cut in half. You get a high volume low laying at 28. It's quite a roller coaster stock since about 2013, man. Oh, yeah. My goodness. They are going to be looking. Thirty-seven billion dollar company, not bad. Yeah, taking in twenty-three billion for the year. Look at that growth, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They're growing internationally by twenty-five percent. United States twelve. Look at that growth. Computer man. and networking. Um, it's monster man. Business unit. Yeah. No, not bad, man. Fifteen billion. Mobile business unit, six billion. Both of them growing twenty-one, thirty-one percent. You want to see something cool, folks? Okay. And depending, see where they're from? Boise, Idaho. Yeah, Boise, Idaho. Okay, so. What's Boise, Idaho known for? Potatoes. You got it. The, so the guy that started this, right? His okay. name was Simpler, I believe. And he was the potato baron. That's what he, he, he was in the potato business, man. And watch this. We bring this back. You're going to see this. The stock used to trade like a 2 or $3. Dollars. It's like just wild how this, I can almost got to bring up. This is pretty sad when I got to bring him back like this. <laughs> so we, that's 2004. Yeah, there it is. $4. 2000. Three dollars and sixty cents. Isn't that wild? I'm, sure. I'm at ninety-three, but the bottom yeah. line, I remember this so well because that at the beginning, this guy had so much money in the potato business. He was he started this and just kept it alive. Okay. You know, guess what? You know, now it's uh, well, how much do we say it's? Let's, Thirty-seven billion dollar company. Isn't that wild? Yeah. And let me just, I'm, I'm curious as to if he had stuff in trust. Or he, he passed away a long time ago, but. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't see any big trust up there. But yeah. It's Boise, Idaho. Would you think, right? Yeah. Right in the middle of the potato country. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, J.R. Simplot. Yeah, pretty wild. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. How about Amazon? We're just Am chatting. They got oh yeah, Prime, Prime Day coming up. Plus two. Prime Prime Day uh, times two. Two days for yeah. Prime Day. I believe it's. July 15th and 16th, so quite a brilliant plan. Why do one day when you can just turn it into two and have sales right. going the whole time? I'm going to even pull up. I headed up over here as well. Uh, Amazon Prime Day, there it is, July 15th through the 16th. Uh, two days, kick off at midnight on the 15th and run all the way through the 16th. They get all 48 hours of that. 100 million products last year, despite a glitch that took the service offline for part of the day. Uh, Pretty uh, staggering when you start talking about those types of numbers, man. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, last year they sold 100 million products during it, even though they had that glitch, and uh, it was as biggest ever. And it seems like they continually just top that number. I'll show. I'm sure, they'd be selling lots of Alexa devices. They love pushing those out oh. at a big sale. Um, just yeah. yeah, and yeah, and watch this. So they get only Amazon. Watch this yesterday, Sally's. They, Sally's Beauty got absolutely smoked yesterday because Amazon's getting in the beauty business. Okay. And I heard you talking about that on and your And it's, it's beauty for, for professionals. Look at Sally, what Sally did. Yeah. Sally went from 1480 to 1227. And it looks like, now the, watch the difference here, folks. So this is really intriguing because, you know, you broke this swing. I mean, it looks like Sally can get all the way down to like, What's that? Four, four dollars. Sure. Eight to four dollars. We were just right? at twenty. We were just right. at twenty. You know, I'm talking about like a couple months ago. Let yeah. alone, yeah. It's a serious break. Now, when you when you take a look at that, and then we take a look at Alta. So Alta got hit too, but nothing. One more. Here. Like, uh, you know. ULTA. ULTA. Nothing like. Uh, Sally's. A Amazon. I mean Sally's. Look <laughs> at. I mean so yeah, Alta yeah. came down, but three fifty-eight to three forty. 
So, you know. Can you pull up the description for Alta and then the description for Sally's? Yeah. I'm just curious. Well, I know Alta's a mammoth. Yeah, $20 billion company. $20 billion, they take in. Yeah, six and a half, seven yeah. billion. And then Sally's. Sally Beauty Holding. Yeah. What do they got cooking? Yeah, 1.5 billion. Quite a different story. Huge. I think it might be that they're just a distributor. They don't even, I don't know of a Sally Beauty Holding that I've ever been in. So if you're just a distributor, Amazon can distribute versus Alta has their actual entire retail stores that you walk into. We can talk about Yeah, more. Sally has them. Do yeah. they? Yeah. Okay. Stay right there. Was... Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 87. Nasdaq off 62. S&P's down 15. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, you are going to see right under featured content, Taz Market Profile. Uh, Steve Dahl did an outstanding uh, webinar uh, last week. Uh, bottom line, uh, this piece of software, folks, is going up to $197 on July 1st. Yeah, so we have it available right now for $97 bucks a month. You can try it out. You can still get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Um, and talking with Steve, you know, they offer it as well. They're going up on prices, man. It's just a valuable piece of software. Right. And, and unfortunately, you know, 97 bucks for, I mean, this is something he said. It was developed for, what, a bank client? You right. know, I mean, serious traders. Right. You can do so much with it. So 
This is the opportunity. We're going to jack those prices up on July 1st. First, um, but 97 bucks a month, man. It's a great product. And as you said, Steve just did that webinar. You were in there as well. You gain instant access to that. He's got a bunch of great videos up there that you can check out in terms of how to use it. But Steve did a great hour-long webinar walking all the subscribers through just kind of the features, the tools. So I encourage people sometime this week, check it out. You get some time on July 4th off. You can And play it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. Exactly. Can't you be know, And if you do the 97, you're locked in at 97. It's yeah. not like you're, you're not no, gonna, it's, And that's the real. Your grandfather right. then, you keep it forever. Right. So you so get that price, yeah. you're good to go. So I encourage this week, check it out because uh, if you don't get it this week, I don't think it makes sense to sign up the day after we raise the prices. Well, so get happen. in there right now. We that's know right. that's not going to happen. We have, gonna... we have traders out here. Exactly. <laughs> so get it done. So the NQs. Let's just look at the NQs quick because they just sold those uh, little babies down. So yeah. inside the NQs, you get C-Trip down 4.2%, uh, Activision off 3, Baidu down 2.7, NetEase down 2.3. Stay right there, folks. We get fast money coming up next. And we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Fast market. Fast market. That's right. Go get them, folks.